guys! Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am all comfy and cozy. I've got this very elegant robe on. This is my get ready robe. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieve my super quick and easy 1950s hairstyle. This is my modernized and uh, speedy way to do it. There's no wait times, no dry times, and it still looks pretty authentic. And this is something that I usually do more often than overnight um, pin curls or anything like that. It's just so much easier. And at the same time, I'm going to be getting a little bit personal on this channel. I feel like I don't do that enough. I keep forgetting uh, to let you guys know who I am amongst the entertainment. So I told you guys to write down some assumptions that you have about me already on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, I interact, I interact with you guys on Instagram more than any other platform. Um, and you guys have said some pretty crazy assumptions, so I'm going to be saying whether it's true or false throughout the video. That way you guys can get a sense of who I am. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair at the same time. So let's go ahead and start getting ready. Okay, so all you're going to need is a straightener. Specifically, a smaller straightener would be amazing. A round straightener would be even more amazing because you really get that curl in. I use a straightener to do it just because it makes the curls look way more smooth than a curler and it looks more authentic because you can like flatten it right. Um, you're also gonna need a light hold hairspray, specifically light hold because if you do a heavy hold, um, it's not gonna brush out, right? And it's gonna get flaky and gross. Uh, you'll also need a heat styling spray to protect your hair, a teasing brush, and a rat tail comb. That's really all you need, along with like a little ponytail to like section off your hair. But Let's go ahead and start doing it. So I sectioned off my hair, you just need uh, like about this much. It doesn't really matter how much hair you put down at a time because you're just going to be taking about um, one inch strands like that. So just put some hair down. First things first, what you're going to do is point the straightener down and immediately wrap around and then go straight down. Alright, so this is what the curls are looking like. You want them to all go in the same direction because it's a vintage hairdo and usually all the curls go in the same direction. Um, so you're going to do that to the other side as well. And instead of pointing it this way, you're going to point it that way because it's the other side of your head. And you're just going to, again, point down, wrap around. It, you're turning the straightener 360 degrees and going straight down. And then you're holding it. Super easy. Super easy. The trick is to hold it until it cools down, because if you don't, then it has time to get loose, and then it won't hold as well. Oh my god, I realized I forgot to put heat protectant in my hair. Ah! Look at me! Telling people to use it, and I don't even use it myself. Totally forgot. <laughs> this is actually a good assumption. You're very private about your life, and can sometimes feel guilty about holding back. Yes. Yes. So, um... I have always been private about my life, not because there's anything super interesting that I need to be private about. It's just my life. I hold back a lot because I'm always constantly trying to improve. Do I like? I don't want to reveal anything until everything is absolutely perfect in every aspect of the way in my life. Um, and because I know like things change, your likes change, what you like and dislike changes, and so I feel like. When I do change or improve, I feel like my old self is a hypocrite, which is not how it works. I know that's not how it works. People evolve. That's the whole point of aging and growing up. I've seen so many other creators open up maybe perhaps too much, and when they evolve and grow and become better, smarter, wiser, more experienced, more knowledgeable, yada yada yada, they get a lot of backlash for that growth. and. Um, obviously some of it is warranted, uh, but a lot of it is not. And with that being said, that has caused an irrational fear of mine when I started off on YouTube. Like I had it the day I started YouTube because I was already seeing so many get backlash for just growing up. And I was like, well, I don't want to reveal anything about myself until I'm 100% sure that I am the most intelligent I can be, the most experienced I can be, the most knowledgeable I can be, the most of everything that I can be. <laughs> Obviously not possible, you'll forever evolve, you'll forever grow, and perfection does not exist. But I do try to achieve it. Um, 
and that definitely is an obsessive thought of mine and uh, I'm working on it. I am going to be more open. I am going to um, show any mistakes if I make mistakes or any accomplishments if I make accomplishments and whatever, but just be more human. I forget to be human sometimes. So every time you go through a few layers of hair, just make sure you hairspray it. That'll help set the curl so when you brush it, it'll bounce right back. The next assumption is that I don't want kids. I actually do. I love babies so much. They're the cutest thing ever. Um, and I've always wanted my own little family. I've actually picked out my kids' names already. I picked them out like, I don't, I don't know. Like I kind of always had them picked out. <laughs> but um, if it's a girl, I want her to be named Scarlet. Um, it's very vintage. It reminds me of like, when I think of Scarlet, I think of like a wax seal, like like old letters, like old love letters, dried roses, um, just vintage, classicness, writing, old literature. I don't know, like that's what pops in my brain when I think of the name Scarlet. And I've always loved it and its originality. You don't really hear a lot of people named Scarlet nowadays besides like Scarlett Johansson. Um, so I love that it's not a common name as well. It's elegant, and if she wants to be a tomboy, she can call herself Scar. So it's like very um, fluid, and yeah, I really like the name Scarlet. And if it's a boy, I want um, him to be named Ma I mean, this isn't definite. This is not definite. I'm not as um, definite as I am with the name Scarlet, but I really like the name Aris. Um, A-R-I-S. It's kind of um, loosely based off of the name Aries, which is my zodiac sign, but most importantly, uh, it's a Greek god name. Um, but instead of Aries, which is a little bit... Um, too zodiacy. <laughs> what? Um, I was like, oh, what if it's pronounced Aris, and then just spell it A R I S, or maybe still spell it A R I E S. I don't know. A R E S. I, I don't know how I'm gonna spell it, but I really just like the name. The next assumption is you want to own a studio, which I'm so glad you brought that up because I do, <laughs> which is so exciting to say, but. I have been in the works of opening up my own film studio, if you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with filmmaking, have always been obsessed since I was practically born, like if you look at my old baby videos, I was holding my dad's nice little Sony camera, like a little film director, since I was like two. I think that's the earliest footage of like my parents capturing me playing with a camera and recording my parents with the camera. Um, I've just always been into cameras, filmmaking, every aspect of filmmaking and movies in general. Um, but specifically horror is my favorite genre and I feel like it's a genre that I would really do well in. Uh, it's titled Somber Studio. Somber is an old English word for dark, dull, gray, sad, everything scary. <laughs> and uh, make sure you follow the Instagram for my studio and support it because that would mean the world to me. I'll definitely be announcing when any movies are coming out. I'm working on one right now, um, but most importantly, working on getting the brand together as a whole. Um, and I'm super excited because my studio is going to be very different from what you see nowadays. Um, we're even down to just running differently. In general, I want the studio to be all about talent and working with talented people. Another thing is that there will be no experience required, so if you want to act in any of my future films or work behind the scenes, um, experience is not going to be all too valuable to me, uh, simply because I've been there. I've, I've been the person who is like, hey, I could, I could do this, I just don't have a lot of experience because no one's given me a shot. And it's, it's a bummer to be chosen um, based off of a resume that, like, how are you going to build it if no one gives you the opportunity? And though I understand why studios do that, I feel like that also leaves a lot of room of missed talent. Um, so with that being said, um, my studio is going to be all about just the focus of displaying raw talent, no matter how you look, no matter um, how much experience you have, no matter how much fame you have, or no fame, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I really want to focus on the old school value of like, 
talent. <laughs> I will only be producing horror and thriller-like films. I don't want to necessarily venture off into any other genre just because like, I just do horror very well. I've always been um, into horror. It's my favorite genre. Halloween is my favorite holiday. I know it's quite ironic with the way I dress and the kind of content I make and the way I just am. Um, but in my heart, my Halloween heart, I really enjoy all things dark and spooky. Um, and I feel like a lot of horror movies nowadays don't really thrill me or scare me. Um, <laughs> funny enough, I cannot recall a movie that genuinely terrified me. And I've seen a whole lot. Um, so hopefully with my high tolerance of horror, I can create some new super scary stuff that, you know, isn't really um, being made. And I'm just super excited and I, I feel like this is what I was really made for. I feel like this has always been my calling and I'm finally getting around to making my calling my reality. And I can't imagine anything else. I can't imagine doing anything else truly. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm going to go ahead and quickly curl the rest of my hair so that way we can get to the brushing out part finally. Um, so just, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know. Okay. So what you're going to do is take the hairspray and now make sure you set it for about, let's say five minutes because you really want it to remember this pattern so when you brush it, it actually bounces back to that. The next assumption is that I am a cult person. Um... I like to say it's more of a, of a coven. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and brush out the curls. All you have to do, and you want to be a little gentle with this, but you know, at the same time, feel comfortable to really brush it out. You're going to take the rat tail comb and you're going to lightly fluff up the curls. I prefer to use a rat tail comb over the teasing brush because the teasing brush, I feel like, straightens out the curls. Meanwhile, this does not. Um, so, yeah, just at the same time, like, feel free to put it right back into place so it doesn't get too loose. And I really like to do like a deeper part here and then tuck this behind the ear just because I feel like it adds more vintage vibe and you can show off your earrings, which is a bonus. The next assumption is that I was a theater kid and that could not be farther from the truth. I was never into theater, funny enough. I never liked theater class. I was in a play in school and I did not like the experience. It is so different from film, and it is not for me, but I love watching theater. You act innocent, but you're really just two-faced. No! Oh my god, no. Um, I would hope that I'm not. Obviously, it's really hard to judge yourself and say, I'm a nice person. You can't really judge yourself, but I would say I do try actively to always be kind and to always be honest and genuine, so take that for what it, what it is. Alright, so I brushed my hair quite a bit now. Like I said, it does not take a lot to do. And you want to use hairspray on the top. Again, to slick it. Now that there's hairspray in it, you're able to mold until it dries. The next assumption is that I'm older than I look, and that is true. I am about to turn 20. 20. <coughs> Six. Um, this month on the 29th, March 29th, going over the hill, the hill of no return. The next assumption is that my favorite color is pink, and it's not true. My favorite color is aquamarine, um, but I think pink looks the best on me, so I wear a lot of pink. You're a mermaid, but deeply afraid of deep water. That's why you haven't popped a mermaid tail. <laughs> Actually, that's true. I am terrified of deep water. It doesn't mean that I won't swim in it. I have. I've jumped right into the Atlantic. Was it my best decision? No. But I'm also a daredevil, so like, it kind of counteracts each other. 
<laughs> I, I am very daring. The next assumption is you're actually a time traveler from the 50s, and that is, um... <clears throat> is the FBI watching? That is true. No, I do not have any proof. Don't ask me. <laughs> you're clingy, I don't know. <laughs> actually, I am. I'm the kind of person that's like waking up at 3 a.m. and I'm like, babes, um, I just had a question. I was wondering if you still liked me because I felt like you weren't sleeping um, as close to me as you usually are and I'm wondering if I did something wrong and um, if you still want to be with me. <laughs> Your biggest dream in life is to be an actress, and actually, I, I know in the past I've mentioned I wanted to do acting and all that stuff. I went to LA, I did an acting school, I did auditions, and I found out in that journey that acting isn't for me. Which blew my mind, because like, I, you know, I was like, well, you know, I love movies and I should be an actress. But it turns out that I actually want to be a director, a producer, a screenwriter. That's more up my alley, being behind the scenes and having control over the movies. Because every time I would get like an audition slide, I'd be like, oh, this script could be so much better. They, they just did this and said this and said that. It was just like a natural instinct. And when I was reminiscing again with my older, like baby childhood videos, I was like, I didn't want to be in front of the screen. I wanted to control the screen. And it never clicked in my head until I put myself through the actor's life and realized acting it really isn't for me. I feel like I want a little bit more control over the production of a film. And so I um, moved back to Florida and just started working on my own movies and writing my own material and starting my own studio. Um, and I've never been happier. I've never been happier. And for anyone who is currently trying to find their way, their path, their passion, be okay with trial and error. Be okay if you don't know what you want to do, experiment, figure it out. You have your entire 20s to figure it out, and then some. You, there is no deadline of when you should figure out your passion. Uh, so do not stress it because you're, oh my gosh, I'm 23 and I, I need to have it figured out. You don't. You don't. Not even at 26 do you need to have it. Not even at 30. Not even at 35. There is no age that you need to figure it out. As long as you're in the journey of it, that's all that matters. No matter how fast or, sl or slow you're doing it, it doesn't matter. Um, so uh, don't be afraid to put yourself out there and figure out what your passion is by doing it, by experimenting. So that is my piece of advice that really uh, helped me figure out mine. Um, so yeah, that's how you achieve the look. I am done answering quite a number of assumptions about me. Um, I, l let me know if you guys have any more uh, content ideas that are more personal that you guys want to see me do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. But stay tuned, I'm going to be coming out with a lot more princess content and vintage content your way. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next video.